First up tonight, okay, this is why I love the invention of DVDs right here. When something like the Equinox, that's the movie tonight, Equinox, freaking gets a Criterion release. I mean, that is the sign that there, if you ever wonder if there's a God in heaven, yes, there is, because Equinox gets a freaking Criterion release. And this movie, terrible, terrible movie, if you've ever seen it. In fact, we showed this at Convergence last year, and there were little girls sitting in my room. No, dude, they were with their parents. It's okay. Sitting in the room, watching Equinox, and laughing at the special effects because they're so bad. It's a dude that worked on Star Wars that did special effects on this thing. And this is the movie that Sam Raimi, he might not admit it now because he's all Spider-Man. You know, ooh, look at me. I made Spider-Man 3. I'm going to make a billion dollars. But he made this movie. I mean, he, he ripped off this movie for Evil Dead because if you watch this, Bunch of kids, you know, hey, well, they're kind of kids. You know, they're supposed to be like 20-somethings, but they're obviously 40-somethings. They, like, cruise up to this cabin to meet with this professor, and they find this book that raises the dead and raises the devil, and demons come out and monsters and stuff. So, yeah, it sounds exactly like Evil Dead. I'm sure Sam Raimi saw this at some point in time. And you get, like, this real cheesy, like, stop-motion effects that are, seriously, some of the worst stop-motion effects ever. When you see the devil come flapping his wings, flying through the woods and stuff, picking up the girls and flying away with them, or the... Or the real cheesy part where they have like the split screen thing where the guy disappears into it, but his arm's still sticking out, stuff like that. Yeah, special effects suck. But this is why movies rock. This is why bad horror, this is why people watch bad horror movies because of movies like this. Because you do get cheesy special effects. You do get actors who can't act, actors who look like they're reading off cue cards or something. But somebody's heart and soul into this movie. This isn't a freaking remake of He Knows You're Alone we're talking about here. This is like a movie that was made that was like original, at least kind of. You know, yeah, maybe they're ripping off Ray Harryhausen with the stop motion effects, but at least you got something where like somebody like sat down and actually wrote on a piece of paper and then just steal somebody's idea and go, hey, let's make a movie where, oh, he knows you, he knows you're in the house, or hey, let's make Black Christmas again, even though nobody else has seen that movie anyway and they should watch it in the first place. And if you go see the Black Christmas remake, you're a fucking loser in the first place. So if you got a ticket stub and you come show it to me, I'm going to punch you in the face, and that's going to happen. What you should be doing is you should be going spending that good money, finding a copy of Equinox. It's got all kind of, it's criteria, for God's sakes. It's a two-disc special edition of Equinox, a movie nobody else but maybe ten people in the entire world care about, and you should watch it because you should care about it too because it's got crazy stop-motion flying devils and cavemans and dinosaurs and all kind of cool stuff, and Sam Raimi likes it. So that's enough. <laughs>